Hello, my name is Roy Tomalina with BMX. During this short video, I'll show you the data logger mode in the MC6. Data logger is similar to an electronic chart recorder where you have multiple channels. Here we have nine different channels. Every capability of this calibrator that can measure can be in its own channel. We'll start by defining channel number one. In this case, I'll pick a quantity and I want pressure. We're going to measure the pressure coming out of this pump. So I want pressure. Well, I'll pick my pressure port. I have my options here. I'll take my middle one. This is up to 30 PSI. Pressure type gauge. I could pick absolute, but gauge is what I want here. And I have the option to zero my module as well. We can pick the color of our channel. We can also pick the operating range. The default is whatever the full capability of the pressure module is defined right here. Finally, we can have triggering. We can have it start by when you press a button or maybe when the quantity hits a certain threshold value. I'll hook up a few more and then I'll get back to you. I've made a few connections. Let's take a look. The original one I just walked through with you is our channel one. That was our pressure hooked up to this pressure port. The second one, we have a thermocouple hooked up. That's channel two. Channel three is our barometric pressure in inches of mercury. The barometric module is on the back of the calibrator. Channel four, we hooked up a foundation field bus temperature transmitter with an RTD probe. So we're getting the ambient temperature. Again, we do have the option to go up to nine channels here, but just to keep it simple, we went with four. At the bottom left is where we define how long we want our sample size to be and how often to grab those samples. Our last run was 24 hours with a sample every second. So we'll change this and we can change this to be one minute long or we can come here to the sample size and just say, I want 60 samples. So it'll automatically fill out the time for us. Now the logging method can be periodic, which means every second or every minute, however you define, or you can have it set to every time you press a button, it will capture the data. That's key press. Let's go. Press the record to get started. You can see the values changing on the display. Now there's also a graphical representation as well. So every channel has its own color. And I'll take this thermocouple and I'll just warm that up a little bit and you'll see, see it changing. And maybe the RTD. So again, the idea is an electronic chart recorder that you can then unload to your computer and analyze that data at a later time. Once this is complete, you will have the option to save that. You will be able to review your data. Login completed. You automatically get your averages, you get your minimums, you get your maximums for every channel. And if we scroll down, you can see the graph that we just did, as well as the raw data. Now we did 60 samples, so that means we have 60 items. And notice you can press right on here and just drag it and scroll through the numbers. Let me save this. I can save this as my, well, we'll just call this sample. We've saved our sample test results. Now, if we wanted to review those, we could bring them up through our menu button up here, view data log results, and as you can see, we have a number of different data log sessions. We'll take the, the last one here. Your last one is always on the top. And you can review this. As mentioned earlier, you can unload this electronically through our software. You've captured the data that you needed, but you know you're going to be doing this at least five times more. Let's save this configuration for easy retrieval later. Up in the menu button, we can go to configuration and save as.
We've now saved it as alpha. We can go up to the menu button, clear all channels. We have a clean slate to start with. To retrieve, we just press the menu button again. Configuration, open configuration and find alpha. And there we go. You've now witnessed the data logger mode in MC6. Now we didn't show you all the options, but know that you can capture up to a million samples. You can also data log for over a month. You can also source values and not just measure in the different channels. You can control a pressure controller. You can control a temperature block. So there are other options. For more information on our MC6, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.